uh, as discussed last time i did the despicable me characters part one now it's the time to do part two so uh, there was an issue when i was completing the video so the issue can be solved i mean it's actually solved by a uh, tray so taking the example from there itself i'm going to this code and let me showcase show you what is the output here so when i click on this there is a beautiful animation okay and there is no second element here so uh, first of all um, here in the details screen i don't have to use character zero i should be using the character variable which is being passed from character listing screen okay so let me go to this okay here i should be using the character okay so the problem was uh, wait should be widget dot okay so the problem was here when i use dollar inside my curly brackets so it should be outside and uh, this was the only issue it was typo mistake but i could not catch it and uh, tray could do it so thanks tray for this now i am running it and it should preferably the output will be same but the issue is solved okay so no issue is not solved again so let me check image widget dot character of name it should be okay um it's outside in my listing it should be in my listing also in my character widget it should be correct so this is dollar here yes here also i have to correct it and uh, yes so now if i am running it let's see the output yes so now this is done now the second part uh, what i am going to do in this video is let me go to desktop okay so go to desktop and play this video so in this video you can see a swipe so i am going to add a page controller here and at the end you can also see the bottom sheet here so that these two parts will be done here okay. now uh, let us add a page view uh, let us wrap this character widget inside a page view so for page view we will need a page controller so let's add first of all a page controller okay so controller and let us have a init state also have a current page which is initialized with zero after this our page controller will have wait so viewport fraction will be 1.0 because it will take complete from left of the screen to the right of the screen and then initial page will be our current page and third will be key page so it can be false then um, you need to wrap this character widget inside page view and page view basically ha doesn't have a child but it has children okay so children and there is a list and uh, yes it should what it should be. so let's find like this <clears throat> fine now we will have a for loop this is a feature introduced in uh, in dart 2.3 or 2.2.2 then uh, we'll loop in through characters dot length and after this we will be returning a we don't need curly brackets here they won't work we just have to write character widget and it will be displayed multiple times let's see how it looks uh, before that controller we have to give uh, controller and the page controller right so i'm running this and let's see what is output fine so i believe there will be two items because uh, characters has one and two two characters inside it okay so let's see yes we have two but the items are uh, same because we have not updated our character uh, character widget uh, based on the uh, corresponding characters this characters dot length it will be uh, this loop will be going through this and i have to pass a character to this character widget so that 
the things are laid out based on the item that is being there right now so i will pass in the i here and yes now we have to define a final field here in the character widget so i'm going here final character character right and uh, what the error it says you have to create a constructor so i am creating the constructor now so this is how it is created and uh, now we have to update the update this character widget based on the character that we got uh, not from the this character zero right so uh, we have to use uh, widget dot character okay widget dot character okay it's stateless so no need to use widget but later on we have to convert it to a stateful widget but right now let it be like character okay similarly here and third place here so this is about the hero tag but what about the uh, text actual text so character dot name then character dot image path this will be uh, you will understand this i think so then anywhere else i have characters yes here i have so here also i have to uh, send the character which is being there so let's run it now and let's see if there are multiple uh, different type of items inside this page view so i'm scrolling and yes this is beautiful and now if i click on this we can see uh, the details of the specific uh, character okay so this looks nice and now we will add uh, the scaling effect i would like to say like that so whenever there is a scroll you know uh, it will start from a uh, some smaller size of this image and it will become complete and i mean to say it will be scaled 0.5 when it is out of screen like in the case of the second item it will be 0.5 and then when it comes to focus it will be one so that we will be doing now so now we have to also pass a page controller to this uh, reason i will tell you just in a moment so my page controller will be passed plus my current index will be passed okay so current page will be um one sec so uh, my current page will be uh, i right the correct current index and page controller will be my underscore page controller so i will go to character widget i will again declare two things here page controller uh, i will tell you the reason why i am adding these two things they are required okay so final int current page so now uh, let me just update it so this is how the constructor is updated and uh, yes okay so this is updated now where we need to use so the values that changed for page controller will be used to animate this image from some scale value to one scale value okay suppose it will be scaling from 0 0.5 to 1 so that value will be calculated when the controller's value will change okay so for that we need to wrap this stack inside uh, animated builder okay and in this animated builder the animation that we will be passing will be our page controller now this animation uh, animated builder also requires a builder which takes in context and a widget so in this case we are passing a child and we will be returning a child right so what will happen is this child will act as the return type of this builder right uh, but before this we need to also uh, do some coding so this is how it will look but before this i am i am uh, let me uh, just run it if it runs properly then we will continue okay so this is how it is so it's running properly i need to know the page controller value when this is getting swiped left and right so if you remember I have already done this video animated carousel flutter ui and it had a code something like this uh, these four lines will give me a, a value corresponding to the page controller's scroll value okay so i am copying this content complete and pasting it if you want to understand what it does you can go to this video complete or i am going to see tell you the output of value how it gets changed whenever there is a change in the page controller so um 
here I'm pasting the content again here like this and I will be printing value and only for one item so that we are able to see the you know um, uh, what I would say we can able to see the changes for a specific item suppose we want to see the changes for zero means I want to see the changes for this cabin so I am printing um, value dollar value right so it will print the values that happen only to this cabin right so I am running it let's see and reverse also I will show you so right now the value is one it means it is currently visible now as soon as I swipe it left see the changes in the value it became 1.0 to 0.99 then went 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 0 0.4 0 0.4 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 it is stopped okay now if I reverse it see the change 0 0.4 0 0.4 0 0.4 0 0.4 and it increases to 1 now this will is happening for Kevin let's see what happens for Agnes okay so right now Agnes is not there now it will come and it is started from 0 0.6 and 1 so this happens because my scrolling speed was fast now when I scroll it very slowly see this values will be starting somewhere from uh, 0 0.4 0 0.40 and like this it will go to 1 now we will use this value and this value will help us in scaling this image so we will go to the image image height and it, we will multiply it with this value okay and uh, yes, so this is undefined no problem so this double value okay so to solve this what we will do is we will copy this complete stack complete stack we will copy remove this and return directly fine so now this error will be gone right and we have 0.55 multiply by this value now I am running again okay now see see this Kevin is going scaling smaller and Agnes is growing now again if I reverse it this is how it is happening so this is how you can add beautiful uh, transition I would say to the images now we will work on the when I click on this we will work on the bottom sheet a lot of animations coming through I am closing character listing and character widget and main.dart only I am keeping his character details skin because that's what we need right now so uh, as you can see in my details page I have to add a bottom sheet type of thing I tried lot many options I tried bottom sheet which is already there in the already existing component but that didn't work properly so I created my own uh, that's fair, fairly easy but to animate it to handle the collapse mode and expand mode is pretty much little bit difficult but that I will explain you properly so that you understand it so first of all uh, we need to again we are in a stack uh, we need something at the bottom so we will be adding a position widget uh, which will have bottom as zero initially uh, when we are not animating anything and uh, right also zero so what will happen is my bottom sheets bottom will be zero top will be defined by the content inside it and left will be here right will be here so it com takes complete width and now I have a child here now this child I have already copied um, so that I don't waste time in uh, creating the UI element I want to explain you the animations behind it so this is how I am copying it uh, I will explain you what it is um, but first let me copy everything then I will explain you the code is very simple uh, it's not hard it's only UI no animations included in this right now so after this return I should uh, yes so these are my two methods okay clip widget I am minimizing rounded corner I am minimizing and now I am running it let's see what happens so I go into this I have this type of UI okay I have this clips fine so how this is created basically position I explained you now the container I have the I have this container which has radius circular 40 40 so I am talking about this white container complete complete bottom sheet so if I reduce this as you can see uh, there will be a change in the radius so this is the screen this is the container that I am talking about now it contains a column clip is the first child and this uh, clips widget is the second child okay so uh, as I talk uh, this is a container 
which is aligned center left and it has a 80 height and a text right and then yes so why i have used container because see uh, padding widget i guess doesn't have alignment and height so i need to have some alignment also to this clicks otherwise uh, where it will go uh, let's run it it will just go at the top so i need it in center left plus i have assigned a height to it so um, if you want to see in this way uh, flutter inspector i go to clips this is the height of uh, my container and my text is in the center left okay okay fine and some padding is also there at the left hand side so this is about the container i have this clips and the text with some color black then i have this single child scroll view which has a horizontal axis so whatever items i have added through clips widget will go inside this so here right now i have eight items so basically each item is a uh, column containing two children so i will go to this clips widget and uh, it's a row of some items like it's a row of one two three four columns in between i have size boxes each column has two children one rounded corner and the second rounded corner and the rounded corner code is just simple it's height and width 100 and the decoration with the radius of 20. so and the color also i have uh, passed in so everything is working right now now we need to figure out what are the three uh, I would say see let me first of all run it again and explain you uh, how the animations will go i'm minimizing it we are only going to work on the position widget now opening this right now bottom is zero so imagine bottom as 250 or 25 what should happen it will come little bit above the bottom of the screen yes it came but if i do minus 25 it will go down if I do minus 250, it will go this much. So, zero value is my bottom sheet expanded height, or I would say bottom. So, I will take three constants here. Um, so, I will take in, um, not here, I will take here. So, my, it will be uh, double or int, I can take, so double expanded expanded uh, bottom sheet uh, bottom right so this is zero fine what is my um, collapsed and collapsed and complete collapsed right so I have to figure out these two values. Collapsed is just be found, it was minus 250 when we are showing only clips and when it is completely collapsed, it should be minus 330. Now reason for this is very simple. Height of this complete column, which contains clips and this is total 330. See this, 80 is the height of this and each clips widget height is 250. So 250 is the, uh, minus 250 is the position of the bottom where I have only collapsed bottom sheet, where I can see only clips text, but complete collapsed will be my minus 30. Now let's run it. I will show you. So complete collapsed means like this. And if I do only collapsed, it's like this. And if I do expanded, this is this. So let's head on to the next part. Initially, first of all, we need to wrap this inside animated position so whenever there is a change in the uh, when i click on this it should come up whenever I, I click again on this it should go down those all things we will have before going further i will take you to this position and i will make it animated uh, position okay and what it needs is simple duration which is we can take in 500 anything else it needs so maybe curve we can define right now curves dot um, decelerate you can change this uh, no need to worry about this now uh, one more thing i figured out that uh, this this can be moved to the uh, this part of the screen uh, okay because it's little bit means you know it's final it will not change never it will never change so we can move it on top 
and we can refer it like widget dot something like this okay so let me run this so now it's animated position what happens if i do it collapse bottom sheet bottom i'm running it see the animation it went down yes so this is how the animations will go on now we need to keep this value in uh, a variable that variable we have to declare here so this double um, bottom sheet position okay or i would say bottom sheet uh, um, bottom position right it makes sense um, for this also we can do expanded bottom sheet bottom position so let me rename it okay here also same so we know we can we have just renamed it so we we need this uh, which will be initially equals to i would say it should be uh, completely collapsed at the starting so widget dot complete collapsed we cannot access widget dot so we will keep it zero as of now and then we will need um, uh, a boolean which is is collapsed so it will be right now false because um, initially it won't be means we can take it like this uh, let's see what happens so when um, what I need to do is at the starting of this screen I would uh, need to have uh, once this complete screen is loaded then I have to uh, show this bottom sheet coming from the bottom okay so for this I have to use after layout mixing okay uh, which I have already uh, if you don't know that I have uh, added here so what it will do is um, it will uh, uh, advise us to create a missing override this method after first layout and it will be called when this complete layout is drawn so what we will do it we will do it is we will uh, set the state and we will make it um, is collapsed as true plus our bottom sheet um, position sorry will become uh, it will become widget dot collapsed so from complete collapse it will become collapsed basically it will happen first time so uh, this this will be the state when it becomes after the first layout is drawn and when this set state is done completing our animated position uh, will actually animate this from our previous bottom sheet position to uh, this position okay so uh, let me run it now and see what happens so when i click on this okay so this is issue no problem uh, my initial will be minus 330 let's see okay yes so it came from bottom now um as you can see there is some some fluctuation so what we will do is we will wrap this inside a future dot delete future dot delete and we will uh, ask this uh, animation to uh, this value to change uh, after 500 milliseconds okay and uh, oh, okay, delayed duration and the future so this is our future cut it and put it inside a method just like that and now if we run it so after 500 milliseconds this will come on top okay now if i close it from this you can see some clips here again so what we will do we will go to uh, i will show you how you can go to the exact code you click on this and you will you will directly navigate to this icon button okay so this is how we have gone through this so if you have a bigger layout and you are not aware where it is so you can do like this now inside this set state first of all we will change the state okay so state will be bottom sheet position equals to my widget dot complete collapsed so once this is done then only it will navigate to the previous screen so i'm running it again let's see this is coming up i'm closing it 
and it goes down so there is little bit improvement uh, but can I also wrap it inside future let's see if we can do it if we fail in this there is no issue constant duration part 250 you can take now and inside this you can pass in this method even this also you can pass because we don't want to navigate it uh, yes so let's see what happens i'm going in here okay it's not solving the issue anyways let's try one more time and let's check what happens fine close it okay so it is not up to the mark so we will keep it as it is now uh, sorry. the next thing that we need to do is let's close this up uh, we have to handle um, the clips tab okay so i will go to my clips widget uh, not to the clips widget i will wrap this container inside a ink well and uh, I will add an on tab method to this right so yes this on tab method can be declared here on tab. right now uh, what we need to do is when we have to toggle basically so if um, we, again we have to do it in set state so if my if it is collapsed If it is collapsed, um, right. One second. Right. So my bottom sheet position will be if it is collapsed, and when I click on this, right now if I click on this, it should be expanded. Which is dot expanded. Otherwise, it should be collapsed. Okay. And uh, yes. So this is how it should be uh, one more thing now we also need to uh, toggle the collapsed value so whatever the collapsed value is we just need to reverse it and let's try to run it okay so this is coming up now I click on clips it goes on top I click on this again it goes to bottom so this animation is also done now uh, very easy part is left uh, you have seen here curves decelerate there are a lot many curves like bouncing out so let's try that because um, in the video uh, which I am referring to has this animation of a little bit bouncing effect so this also it has a dragging effect so that al already I have covered in one of my videos that is called iPhone social app iPhone X social app so you can check it out how that is done so as you can see it was bouncing out yes like this it is so you can try in many uh, there is a elastic also so you can try uh, give it a try and check yourself uh, how it will be done right so this is how it is uh, right now for me I prefer this uh, this is the end of the video if you like the content please hit the like button and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel um, so let me know what else uh, you expect from this um, UI um, anyways and uh, yes I'm going to I'm thinking to create complete app out of it wherein I can have a search also I will not only have the character but also the uh, movies that are already released under this category so there will be a lot many characters coming in through and we can definitely um, use firebase firestore but that i have already done so i might not be showing you in that uh, that in the videos so just let me know what else do you want one more thing uh, this clamping is crawling you can uh, remove so you have to go to your character which uh, character listing and uh, with the page controller uh, so you have this page view uh, so you can define the scroll uh, physics that is clamping is called physics so this will help you uh, in avoiding this type of thing so if you are here it won't allow now more towards left and right so yes guys so uh, thank you for watching the video and hit the like button thank you